When I met Stephanie, she was shaped like a mountain, snow-capped and sloping, yet smaller than me. Stephanie was fierce. They want me to stay here. I asked her to please stay. At least stay for tea. I showed her my name tag and said, Pleased to meet you. As slowly as Stephanie, we walked down the hall. My sister's name was Sophie, she said, looking at me. My sister's name is Stephanie, I said. That was all. Then it was easy. We were practically family. The rest are all gone now, she said, looking lonely. I was the baby, said the mountain beside me. And the flowers of our sisters washed out to sea. Of all the happy people I've known, Florence was the saddest. Hidden under all the love that poured out of her was a hot core of doubt and pain. When we started painting, she was hesitant looking for reassurance each step of the way. And sometimes, when she'd allow herself, she'd let go of all that and just have fun. Whee! It's like I'm reliving my kid days, the ones I never got. Looking at Florence was like having your soul wrapped in a warm bear hug. She would love every ounce of you, just by virtue of being there. It made me want to be the person I was in her eyes, to deserve her admiration. I want you to remember to live life now, she'd repeat. Don't wait. Go on an adventure. Go on vacation. Go on a walk, even. Just do it now. When the question of chemo came up, she was resolute. 
I know firsthand what that does to a person. When it's my time, I just want to shut my eyes and go. Go somewhere free from this pain. Her open-armed acceptance of death chilled me to the bone. She left the way she had hoped, and time stopped. I replay her words, live life now, don't wait, and still hope to be the person she saw. so that she might live on in the things that I do.